I'd like to encourage you if you if you like what you see and you're finding benefit in it, please hit the like and then and click on subscribe and uh, we'll be glad to have you along with us. We'll let you know when we're putting more videos up that way. I'm I'm Dennis. <laughs> all right, is that all you need to know. All right. So this will be. Getting be ready for her first ride tonight. Of course, I've been, done the groundwork with her. I've been driving her. She's the one that we we worked on catching. Right now, she's pulling on my hands more than I want, and. I'll just keep her going forward in, in some kind of a rhythmic forward motion and I'll add a little resistance up there to her mouth and let her work it out, let her work out where the relief would be. So I'm just holding steady against her and she's putting more, more effort into resisting. I'm just going to wait on her here a minute. Stay steady. There's a relief right there. Yeah, a horse that will pull on your hands will buck you off. And uh, if they're soft in the mouth, even though this is going to be her first ride, we should be able to move her feet easily without any kind of chaos. Now she's just rooting against my hand a little bit still. There she's off of it. When she quits pushing on my hand, you're going to see her soften everywhere and slow down. Only do what I'm asking her to do instead of doing more than I'm asking her to do. So she's just trying to go back to that out gate. She's pushing on my hands and running through my hands. Now she's listening to me here a little bit. I asked her to go forward around here a little bit. Very nice. What was very nice there, I barely touched her mouth. She slowed down and she did not push on my hand at all. tongue over the bit right now. That's what's causing her to stick her head up and work at it. Let her work at it there a minute without any resistance and get her tongue back. I thought she'd work it out. I'm going to help her get her tongue back over that bit or under. That bit's got a cricket in it and you can hear her working her tongue over that.
her tongue back over the bit again. I'll let her just wear it there for a little while. Show her where it was comfortable to be have her tongue under it, but she insists on wallowing around up there and trying to spit the bit out. Now she's got her tongue on top of it. again. If I got another notch I can go tighter maybe. Tighten that head to all one knot to make it a little more difficult for her to get her tongue over it. Maybe she'll stay there. Soften a bit on the on that bridle. Blocking off when she wants to run through my boundaries and I'm letting her have complete freedom when she's inside my boundary. I'm going to turn left here, come out toward the middle of the pen. She's pushing on that, pushing through to the To the right instead of coming left. So I'm going to block off that avenue of escape right there. I need a little more forward motion. So get this whip back out here so I can help her come forward. Got a line between her legs, and that's all right. If she turns this way, I'll get it back. Come on. Now then, she's thinking. She quit thinking there. She started thinking over here when I said now then she's thinking, but then she left again. Whenever she's thinking about leaving, she's not really thinking, she's just reacting. Now she's in thought, productive thought. That's 
expect her to listen to me and do what I ask her to do. There. I'm gonna go just keep making left turns here until she understands that. There, perfect. Forward motion. Forward here will fix this. This being her resistance. Forward and freedom. She's in complete freedom. Complete freedom. I've asked her to turn left again. She's in complete freedom. So the left turn is starting to work pretty decently. I'll just pet her, let her know everything's all right. She needs to keep moving her feet though. Petting her doesn't mean to stop, it just means you're doing a good job. Now I'm gonna turn right, wait on her. Very good. I'm gonna make all right turns here. I'd rather her not trot off like that. I'm mean, not gonna. I'm not gonna discourage her from it. But I did. I didn't ask her to trot off. So she's doing that in her mind to escape something, and I don't want her to be mentally trying to escape something before we get on her. I want her to be listening to me for every step she takes. Right there. Let's go down through. Let's go to the left here. See, she's, she's thinking about going right when I'm asking her to go left. There we go. Straight away. Let's go down the center of the barn here. Right down the center. Not bearing off one way or the other. Right down the center. Go right down the center. There we go. She found it. She just needed me to present it to her in a way that she could see what I wanted her to do. Go down here. We're going to turn right. We're going to come right back up the center of the barn. Come on. Come on. <coughs> I know she can make it through there. She's thinking about going to the right. So I blocked her off from going right. I'm asking her to step forward. There she found it. And heading up. And she's moving to the other side. There we go. Let's go right here. We'll do that again. I'm gonna go across the barn here to the right. I'm gonna turn left. I don't want her trotting off. Easy girl. Now come left here. Right up through the center of the barn. Complete freedom. And turn right. And turn left. Left. Right up through the center of the barn. The only thing, if you'll open that gate up just a little bit, I'm going to drive her in there, and then I'm going to drive her out of there. That's good enough. Thank you.
when she heard that snapping on that saddle, she wanted to overreact. It's okay, but I don't want her overreacting when we're on her. So we're gonna desensitize her here a little bit. Come around there. Very good. You can hear that noise and didn't flinch from it. So desensitized her just a little bit to that, but kept her feet moving. To me, it's important to keep their feet moving because it's one thing to prepare a horse to a standstill. It's a completely another thing altogether to prepare a horse with their feet moving. Ask her to turn right. right there. She wanted to turn around. All I wanted to do was stop. I'll wait for my thing to show up, which is a stop. She didn't stop. She just anxious about moving her feet. She needs to listen to me instead of trying to figure out Tongue over that bit again. I'm going to put her tongue back underneath that bit. See, she's softening up now. She's uh, listening. I'm gonna ask her to stop right there. Ask her to stop. 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 Now let's get a step backwards. Pull on the right rein and wait for the left hind. I pull on the left rein and wait for the right hind. And as soon as she gives me that, then I release it.
Okay, Jonathan, this time when I come in there, if you want to just bring that gate shut, and I'll re take these lines off and then get off over in, get on her in this pen. Just keep breathing. The question was, what advice do I have for somebody that's getting on for the first time? Best thing you can do is keep breathing and uh, just try to stay as relaxed as, as possible. And uh, we'll, uh, we're not going to just get on because she hasn't had anybody on her back, so we're going to uh, hold her and then you're going to put your left foot in the stirrup and bounce it up and down, but rhythmic, and uh, until she'll accept that uh, bouncing. Let me get the, okay, let's put your left, there you go. Now then just go up and down. Just now, just keep your foot there, and and just just keep going up and down. Just keep going up and down. Just keep going up and down. Now I'm gonna. I need to get her off of that fence. Hang on just a minute. Step down, back up, and let me get her off of that fence. There, there. Now then, now go up and down. Go up and put your hip on the. Step down. Okay. Come again. Just go up and down. Now step down. Step down back way. Okay. Now we're gonna go on the other side. Okay. feet, change direction, okay, go again, let me make sure this is tight, okay, go ahead and put your leg on over. Get your feet back. Just keep your feet. There you go. Okay. Back this foot out and this. this. We're going to step off. Okay. Get me a flag. Well, she's she's getting afraid when she sees his head come up over that saddle, and uh, she's getting afraid when she hears. So. Need to expose her to that. Get her 
accepting and things like that. So she's not so bothered about him being up there. Okay. All right. Now, let's try her again, Jonathan. If she's standing there, then go up, down, on, and then off. Don't get your foot so far in the stirrup. Okay, leg on, then up, then off. Step off. Just to keep your foot in there, keep doing that. Now just sit there a minute. Step off. Okay, let's go to the other side. That's why you don't want to kick him in the butt when you get him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on the other side. Okay. Just put your feet in the stirrups. Push on that saddle horn, don't pull on it. There you go. Just stay back. Now, now let your legs come back against her there a little bit. Now, with your left hand, keep your right hand on the saddle horn. With your left hand, reach up and, and rub her neck with her feet moving. Wait, wait till I get her feet moving. Now, now touch her. Okay. All right. Reach around there and touch her rump. Don't tickle her. Just, there you go. Push on a little bit and rub on her there a little bit. Now take this hand and start moving it around a little bit. And start start patting yourself and your leg, your saddle. Stay in rhythm. Squeeze on her a little bit with your feet. All right, get out of her. Let her come down for a stop. Okay. 
Okay, now let's go the other way. Take your right leg there and just let it bounce on her a little bit, just like that. There you go. And I'll keep taking her hip away while you're doing it. Just move around up there a little bit. Reach around with your right hand. Now, there you go. Yeah. See, we don't want to. We don't want to have her looking off the opposite direction she's going here. Now we want her looking in the direction of travel. And if she gets split between looking to the right and left, she's liable to get scared. Okay. Why don't you take the bridle reins and just start riding her around in here? Bring her back through this way. Yeah, just relax your hands a little bit and let them be down. And uh, don't be afraid to move around up there. She's She's got a real good look at her eye right now. Just keep moving around, just keep moving around. We don't want her to think she can squirt off like that and get us to quit. Move around up there and just keep moving around, desensitizing her to that. Very good. There you go. Bring her back in front of me this way. Pull on her. There you go. There we go. Now bring her back in front of me this way. Okay. I'm gonna hand you this. Okay. I'm gonna get out of your way. Keep moving around up there. You can take that end of that tail and you can put it in your other hand and just kind of swing it around. Get her used to movement up there. She's still looking, you know, looking for an excuse to jump or something. So the more active you stay up there, the less apt something is to happen. Go ahead and turn her into the fence right there and turn change the direction. Stay alive on her. There you go. Now turn her into the fence and change direction. Just keep go a little bit and turn her into the fence. Right there would be a good place. Come over here and then turn her back into the fence. If she gets pretty well convinced that you're directing every step she takes, which you are, then she's gonna she's gonna get a lot more comfortable. Okay. I'm gonna put the driving lines back on. Then we'll open that gate and come outside with it.
Put these on. So the first tip's breathe. Second tip, don't kick them in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can pick up a little trout in here first. Just turn turn to the fence. Okay, Jonathan, we're going to walk outside. No, just, just, yeah, 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 just relax, it's fun. And just just sit on her and just go with her. This is the part of horse training where we don't want to get in their way. It uh, can't stay that way, but the first ride or two, if we stay out of their way and let them be comfortable moving, then they'll be able to accept us getting in their way later on when it comes to training.
I'm going to stop right there. Just waiting for her to find a place where she can stop. I'm not letting her go forward and she's escaping off to the right, see? We're trying to back up. Ask her to stop again. pretty happy with her feet moving, but when she gets still, she ain't too happy. I'm gonna just let her sit here a minute and work this out, if she can. Reach up there and pet her on the neck now. Like for her eye to soften a bit, she's a little troubled in her eye. So now she's found out that standing still isn't such a bad deal. Let's move her feet forward again. Now let's go forward again. If she'll stop right there. Let's go forward and go in the pen and get off of her. Just squeeze and hold down to there you go, now, there you go, perfect. Stop right 
stopped right there. Alright, let me take this line off before you step off. I'll just set their iron pattern. foot out of that stirrup over there and stand up and then you're going to go one two and then step off wait a minute if she if she gets tight don't don't step don't do it just keep moving up and down up there until she's not tight wait now wait wait a minute okay go again Okay, wait a minute. Uh, for some reason, when you're going up and down, she's, it's like she's just squeezing her. I don't know. Let's see if you can. You can get her right up against the wall here. Don't stick your foot forward up there, she'll... Uh, okay. Good job. Now, let's, let's get back on her. Now just step right off. When your foot hits the ground, get back right back up on her. Good job. 